Hey guys, so I just had an idea of doing a video on perfumes that kind of conjure up a certain colour when I spray them. It's something that's been on my mind recently, like, is it the same for you guys? Like, when you spray a certain perfume, you'll think of blue, or like purple, or green, um, and the same could go for listening to music. Like, when you listen to music, you like, imagine certain colours. That's what I wanted to do today, and I wanted to go like, in order of the rainbow. So I'm gonna start off with red. So red would be Instant Crush by Mancera. Guys, it is such a passionate fragrance. Like it is so vigorous, revitalizing, an energy booster, and very passionate. And that is why I think the color red. It could also possibly be because in the beginning it reminded me of Baccarat Rouge. Um, and I get the DNA, but this is definitely its own fragrance. Like. If I feel like a bomb, which is very rarely, because you guys know I'm a direct descendant of royalty, you know. <laughs> um, spray this on and <laughs> you'll be good. But yeah, something about this. I talk about it in every video and you guys already know this one is very popular and I always say it's definitely a good staple for every perfume maniac to own, whether you're a woman or a man, because there are going to be those days where you feel like a potato and you need something to, you know, <laughs> make you feel nice, so. Instant Crush, definitely a must have. The next color is orange and I'm gonna be choosing Honey Oud. I'm not choosing orange for this one because of the color of the bottle, but because each time I spray this, like the bottle, it warms me up. Like I just imagine like a fireplace. In winter time I was spraying this. I think it was because of this fragrance that I realized I don't like Oud and Patchouli mixed together because I feel like them, those two notes together just create like a bomb. So I wear this very rarely. And to be honest, I don't get a honey note. Like I get some type of sweetness with oud and patchouli. And that's it really, nothing too groundbreaking. But it really does smell fiery, like by the fireplace and you're like in a cabin wood in winter time. I would only really wear this in winter time. I wouldn't dream of wearing this in summertime. But nonetheless, I am glad that I have this. It grabs a lot of attention. This just says, this one screams. It screams on your skin. <laughs> this one absolutely screams and it lasts for days on clothing. Next color is yellow and I'm choosing Holidays by Mancera. The reason why I chose this one is because I took this on holiday with me last year and each time I smell this, it just, I can feel the sun ray beaming on me. I can feel the sunburnt skin. Guys, this isn't a safe blind buy and I think people really need to stop saying that this is a coconut perfume. Like, guys, in the beginning, in winter time especially, it smells very synthetic, very disgusting. It smells like vanilla, yellow, floral candles that you get in like a cheap store. And it smells like Febreze as well, but I'm telling you, in summer heat on sunburned skin this activates like for some reason in winter time it's not as pleasant um and i get zero coconut to this day it's an aquatic scent done in a nice way so yellow floral aquatic with the ylang ylang and tiara flower i am glad that i have this because yeah, it literally smells like a holiday scent it is beast mode it lasts for so long and you guys know that this was my number one complimented perfume in my entire collection one thing that I want to say guys is I feel uncomfortable wearing this actually because more often than not like this is a pet peeve that I just absolutely hate and please let me know if this happens to you. You know when people say that you smell good and they start like you know their, their nose is like half an inch away from your body and they're like sniffing you and it's just like please don't do that like ugh, I hate that. So yeah be careful like <laughs> embrace yourselves when you wear holidays. Um, like I said I just don't get coconut and I feel like it's so misleading. It's so misleading, but yeah, definitely a lovely summer vacation scent and I'm so happy that I own this and it reminds me of so much. It's very positive and just sunshine, sunshine. You are my sunshine. This color is green and I'm going to be choosing Liz Earl. Now guys, I don't know if this is in the UK only. So Liz Earl, she's like a skincare brand, right? Like you'll see it in stores. This is Botanical Essence number 15. I had no idea that they did perfumes. Um, criminally underrated, like literally nobody talks about it. Smells like you're in a green forest. Yeah, literally green forest, tranquility in a bottle, beast mode. And I feel like men will like this as well. I'm super, it's vanilla. Now looking at the notes guys, it's not something that I would go for, but I guess because of the vanilla and 
with them now or something, I don't know, it's like, it's honestly divine. And it's literally the perfect green scent. It smells like an expensive spa and literally just green. But the type of green that I'm talking about is, it's like the emerald green. That's what I kind of think of and Christmas trees. I'm super glad that I have this and if you're ever in the UK, definitely go into like stores, you know, the Liz L section or in Boots and see if they have this because I heard that this is discontinued. But yeah, not talking about enough and I'm so, so glad that I have this. It's very unique. Next color is blue. And I'm choosing Saldo Deli Laguna, guys. Tell me if this is the same for you. Has there ever been a fragrance where you sprayed it in stores or let's say you blind bought it, you sprayed it and the first thing that you thought in your head is, why would you make this into a perfume? Like this should probably be air freshener. Guys, I've had that with opium by, I've had that with opium, you know, the, um, it's by Yves Saint Laurent, the orange bottle that smells like church. That one was a nightmare. Um, but Salvador Deli Laguna, it is a lot of things at once, guys. Oh god, that is divine. Okay, not everyone is gonna like this, guys. With time, it's just becoming better and better. It's a lot of things at once. It is sweet, it is sour, it is zesty. And you guys know that I hate zesty perfumes because it just makes my eyes water. But still, there is a soft sweetness and a bit of a powderiness and it's tropical. And you know what, guys? This is a perfume for a mermaid. And it's salty, aquatic, but done in such a nice way. It's very feminine, but I feel like men can wear this as well. It's an eau de toilette, and my only complaint about this is longevity and performance is just poor on me, and I'm so sad, guys. Um, Cause a lot of people in the reviews, they say they last a very long time and it has good CR, so I think it's very hit or miss. Oh, that is divine. That is divine. So guys, yeah, I think of, you know, turquoise blue, and I always imagine Australia's Golden Coast because I've never been to Australia. It is one of my, it is one of my like, it's one of the places that I try to like astral project to. Like when I go sleep, I just like, <laughs> okay, no, I'm kidding guys, but <laughs> and now I want to go to Australia in my like, I want to go to Australia one day, but it would have to be like later on in life because you would need to save up a lot. But yeah, I just imagine, this is what I imagine Australia's Gold Coast would smell like. You know, you have the beach, the sun rays and, you know, mermaids. This is absolutely divine, but not a safe blind buy. It has like a myriad of notes and it's just a lot of things at once. Next colour is indigo, right? So I'm choosing Midnight Fantasy. Now guys, the reason why I'm choosing this one is because look at the bottle. This smells exactly like the colour. Like just imagine this, but like as an artificial candy. That's why really, it literally smells exactly like this. So I think yeah, this is why I chose this. I really like this guys. It's a little cheapy, but when you spray it on your skin, you know, overspray it and step outside in the cold, then it just smells gorgeous. It smells divine. But when you smell it from hair, it doesn't really smell as pleasant. But when you spray it on your skin, it's juicy and so yummy. And yeah, just artificial indigo color. That's literally what it smells like, like a candy, but super yummy. Lastly, we have purple and I'm choosing Lancome Trezor Midnight Rose. Now I like this, but I don't love this, but it's slowly growing on me. This is a tester bottle, so that's why I don't have the lid. Um, it's a coincidence that the purple is bottled because I really do feel like this is a violet purple fragrance. Like when I spray it guys, I just imagine Oh, oh, that smells good, you know. Ooh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, that smells divine. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, it smells very mysterious. It smells like a youthful girl. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like Emma Watson is just like the perfect face for this. Like, you know, I, I even remember when I was little like, and I saw her advertised and she was the face for this perfume. And I feel like it's perfect for her because she was sort of transitioning from girl to womanhood and you know, she chopped off all her hair, but she still looked very feminine, very beautiful nonetheless. But yeah, it's fizzy, gr no, it's like a fizzy soda or like a fizzy purple candy that you just get. That's exactly what it smells like. And I get Cassis, I forget what the notes are, and raspberry, and I really like this, you know, Oof. in the air it smells absolutely divine. So yeah, I'm actually really, really liking it. Longevity is moderate, six, five to six hours, and it creates a nice scent bubble as well. Yeah, I feel like violet or purple, whatever it is, I feel like this is 
this is perfect for it and i think that they chose the perfect color scheme for this so guys that was it thank you so much for watching this video let me know guys if it's the same for you like when you spray a perfume or listen to music do you sort of see colors or are you kind of schizophrenic like me no i'm joking <laughs> um <laughs> anyways guys enjoy your evening and have a nice day <laughs>